Hey everyone, welcome back. I am officially eight weeks out and I wanted to start this video off with my breakfast because I realized I don't show you all a lot of what I eat. So right now I am making some Ezekiel bread. It does come frozen. It's pretty much whole grains and legumes. So it's a little bit more nutrient dense. So that's why I tend to buy the Ezekiel bread. And then I'm just gonna put some almond butter, stevia and extra cinnamon on it, even though it's already cinnamon raisin. And I did that because it kind of took me back to my childhood when I would used to make like toast with butter and I would put like cinnamon sugar on it and that was really good so that's the idea behind this it didn't taste anything like it but it was good enough and then I also drank a protein shake which you'll see in just a second and I'm a little sad because my coach is taking my protein shakes away from me so in my protein shake I put almond butter chocolate protein one banana and water in it and it was really really good it almost reminded me of like a little Reese's cup kind of sort of not as good but it was pretty good it got the job done i just wanted something quick and easy east coast always in me commonwealth milk junk getting love from my city yeah. i roll call for the dmv in my own lane you could still ride with me yeah. It's Vito, baby. She said she ready for love. She done with that bullshit. She said ain't no pulling up. Meet her at the pulpit. She ain't trying to play no games. She think all niggas the same. And if you not on that forever shit, you can stay in your lane. I'm wondering why, why, why. She ain't got the patience. She be like, bye, bye, bye. And I know she don't think twice If it's something she don't like She gon' let you know about it She give her all and that's the problem Hey everyone, welcome back So I'm about to practice some posing Because I haven't practiced since What's today? Sunday? So maybe like last Thursday or so Which is not good Because I'm supposed to be practicing every day But Ooh, my schedule just be getting the best of me, but no excuse. I'm gonna practice today and see where I am and just kind of compare some of my videos from the week before and the week before that just to kind of see how much I've improved. So here we go. 
You got that something that can't be seen. You got that one thing that's hard to come by. It's not your styling, it's not your jeans. No, what you got is deeper within. And your friends don't even know what you got. They just hang with you cause you earn a lot. You should lose them on the side. So can we talk about cravings because my cravings have literally been consuming my mind, body, and spirit. Okay, I know that's extreme, but seriously, they have been taking over me. I literally went grocery shopping and I had to stop in the aisles of the things that I was craving. So I was craving cupcakes and I was craving brownies, kettle corn. I don't know if y'all have had this sweet and salty kettle corn, but it is so delicious and I really, really wanted some. I'm a texture person, so I like anything that's crunchy, such as chips. The jalapeno chips are my absolute favorite. If you've never had, had them before, I would definitely try them out. And then the barbecue chips are really good as well. And I really wanted them so badly. Those are the only two that I've had. I've never had like the salt and vinegar or the sea salt version. I just pretty much stick to jalapeno and then sometimes the barbecue. And then I was about to leave and I walked past the Takis. I don't even like Takis, but I really wanted them. I see my nieces and nephews eat them all the time. So it made me crave them. And I just want to show you like, this is what happens sometimes. Sometimes there's things you can do to get around it. Maybe there's something else that you can eat to satisfy that craving. But then sometimes you just simply have to use self-discipline and say no. So now I am just making some food. I actually recorded this, I believe a week or so ago, or maybe two weeks ago, but I never put it in my video. So I want to show you all what I typically eat because for the most part, it's the same thing every week. Sometimes I'll switch up the flavors, but I've just gotten in the habit of pretty much making the same food so I'm just showing you all the different seasonings that I put on my food I keep it pretty simple not too crazy it definitely has to have flavor otherwise I won't eat it I'm being honest like if it does not taste like anything if it's too bland I won't eat it so I have to give it some flavor but at the same time I can't overdo it I do use salt and I do use seasoning with salt in it but I don't put a lot of it on there just enough to enhance the flavor and to satisfy me I'm just making some shrimp. That was actually really good. The Obey, I never really used Obey. Well, that day I decided to, and it was actually really, really good. I liked it. I've been craving Brussels sprouts like crazy. And I just put, I think some salt, pepper, garlic on it, and it turned out nicely. And then I also made some potatoes and I chopped them in halves. These are red potatoes. I boiled them for I think about 20 minutes or so. And then I chopped them up and I just put a few things on there like some salt, pepper, olive oil, 
and I believe garlic. I try to make mashed potatoes. It didn't come out creamy until I put on the olive oil and it made it a little bit creamier. Not that much, but just a little bit. As you can tell, it's still a little thick, but it was good. I liked it. And then I just put all my food in containers and this is actually what I took for lunch. So I had two meals, nuts, an apple, and I think I even threw almond butter in there as well to eat with my apple. And that is it. I'm getting closer and closer to show day and I can feel it because of the fatigue, the exhaustion, the cravings. I'm starting to forget things a little bit here and there. So it's coming. But thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all next week in my seven weeks out video. And don't forget to leave your questions down below because the next video that goes up will be me answering all of your questions.